Okay, we're here to talk about UFC 132, Cruz versus Faber. First fight we're gonna talk about, George Sotaropoulos versus Rafael Dos Anjos. Sotaropoulos, I've seen him fight so many times, the guy's an animal. Yeah, very well-rounded, you know, from Australia. He's been on a, on a roll, was doing real, real well. Just dropped a fight recently, but uh, is, uh, just a tough, tough, tough kid. Very good striking, black, black belt jiu-jitsu skills. Uh, Dos Anjos is, I think, more, a little more of a grappler, a little more of a jits guy. Uh, I, I like Sotaropoulos in this fight. I think he's a little more well-rounded. It's going to be a good fight for sure. This whole card, top to bottom, is, is a lot of bitching matchups. Yeah, we were talking about that a minute ago. I mean, it's, it's a stacked card. I mean, yeah. everybody from top to bottom, even even this fight. Sotaropoulos, I mean, amazing jiu-jitsu skills. Yeah. So I think even a grappler jiu-jitsu guy is going to have their hands full with him. Yeah. Um, but like he said, I think that he, he is a, he's a well-rounded fighter. So I think that's, that's going to be the one advantage. So you're picking George? Yeah, I like George in this fight. It's gonna be a good fight, but I like George. Okay, just because I've been getting my balls busted lately, I'm gonna go ahead and go with Dos Anjos. <laughs> <laughs> because there's really no method to my madness, so, and this is, uh, no, you know what, I, I am actually gonna go with George. I, I think, I'm very impressed with him. Like I said, his ground skills are amazing. His, his stand-up is getting better. Yeah, I think George is gonna pull this one out. Okay, I think, I think Dos Anjos is gonna have his hands full either way, whether he stands up with him or he goes to the ground. Deny you